Hey, this is Dara with a new video on Notion today. I'm talking about sending a document from Notion to Google Docs. So the reason I'm doing this really is to get the ability to do some, le some letterhead and or formatting on the document that I'm creating. I like to do all of my first drafts in Notion, and in the past I would have to, um, you know, the, the PDF export, is it just looks awful. They take the title of the page and it's really big on the printout and there's no options for doing any kind of uh, letterhead. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so for me, I've created a um, template, a database template for my letterhead because most likely this is going to be a task item for me. It's going to be associated with something else that I'm working on, maybe even as part of a project. So I'm going to go ahead and create my new letterhead. I'm going to write a letter to Nugget. All right, it's a task. And let's say this is due Friday, but I'm going to work on it today. And it's got a high priority and et cetera, et cetera, whatever else I want to tie with it. Maybe it's even tied to um, I'll tie it to the writing room just to have a, a project to tie it to. All right, so here I've got a template for myself to, to start the work in because I don't want to send this task to my print queue because I don't want any of these um, properties that are part of my ax table. I don't want them to end up in my print queue. So if any of you have noticed, if you take a a page that was part of one database and you put it in another database, the properties follow with it. So instead of using this whole page as it, I have the page nested. All right, you'll see that I've, I already have something going in my print queue and I actually have two different print queues and we're gonna talk about the difference between those in a minute. But I'm gonna go ahead and create my letter here. And as I have a, a note to myself, text only, single column layouts. So I'm actually going to just uh, go ahead and say, Dear Nugget, I'm going to add some doggy ipsum here just so we're not typing out a real long letter. And I'm going to love mom here at the end. Oops. All right, so my letter's done, and I'm gonna go ahead and toss that into the print queue. All right, so it's gonna take a moment to kind of move over, so while we're waiting for it to populate over on Google Docs, let me show you the rest of how the system works. So the first bit is to go ahead and create a template in um, Google. And so here I've got a just very simple letterhead and I created some spacing underneath my letterhead just to give space in the document. And then I have this in curly brackets, it just says content. And this is where I'm telling the content of my page to go into this document. All right. Let's go ahead and look at the bot for this. All right, so here I've got update database item. I know that sounds strange because we just created the page, but in fact, when you create the page and then move it into the database, that's actually an update of the page. The page has now got more properties because it's been adding to the database. I did try to do this with doing a new database item and it doesn't um, pick up the fact that that has been moved into the table. But also, I don't want to create my items starting in the print queue table unless I put some kind of weight um, blocker here because as soon as I create it, it's gonna want to send it to Google and it won't have the chance to get all the content I put inside. So if it takes me five, 10 minutes, whatever, to write the letter, an hour, I need to give myself that time. So I find that it's better to go ahead and create the page first get it done, get everything you wanna say in there, and then add it to the database. All right, so again, that's the print queue. And then here I'm using, um, for Google Docs, create a document from template. And I'm using that letterhead template I've created. And I could put it in a folder if I wanted to. 
And then here I'm grabbing the property name, so the name of my page, and all of the content of my page. And you can do item content, you can do item as, as markdown is the other option. Um, it actually doesn't matter because Google doesn't read the markdown signature. So if it was going to something that was like a markdown base out output, I guess that would, that would work. All right, so let's go and see if that has indeed shown up. All right. So what's weird is that sometimes on the Google um, thumbnail here, sometimes it shows the content. Sometimes you just get that same look with the curly brackets. But once you open it up inside, there is my letter. So here we go. Um, proper formatting, uh, line breaks where I put them. And I remember ripped that out the last minute, so I don't have that line break anymore. But here is a perfectly formatted letter that I can now um, print and, you know, give to my dog for him to, to tear up and love and all the things he's going to do with paper. All right. So let's now make that a little bit more complicated. So what if I want to actually structure my memo? So in this case, I'm going to add some formatting. And I mean, I did some weird formatting here just to show how, um, Google Docs is going to take up this formatting. So I bolded the date. I actually took the regards line and I made it so that it's automatically formatted to all caps. So we'll see how that works. I made this two line. I just made it a subtitle just to show like how that could work. And then again, I have my content and my signature line. I also have, let me shrink this page up here so you can see. I also have numbered pages at the bottom. Okay. All right, so let's go back to Notion. And I'm going to take that same letter, and now I'm going to add it to my memo queue. I automatically ca captures the date because I have my filter set for today, so I don't have to add that in. And then, and of course, it's changeable. So if I really wanted the date to be like, you know, yesterday or a couple days from now, whatever. I'm going to put my regarding line and to nugget. Okay. And I don't need this because I have a signature line. I'm going to leave this mistake. Now I should take this off because you saw that I did a two line, but I'm going to leave this here because I want to show the update. All right. So we're going to wait a few minutes for that to go ahead and go across. And while we're doing that, we're going to go ahead and look at what that, um, how that bot is structured. Okay. So again, I did update item. I've done my print memo queue this time. I put a uh, wait timer here because you notice I did have to add in um, those database properties. So I want to give myself enough time for that to happen. So I'm going to say wait 20 seconds. Um, and then I went ahead and added it to the structured memo. And now you see I've got all the different, um, ooh, that's a mistake. It's another regarding line. Okay. All the different lines here, um, for it to work on. All right. So now if I come back here to my docs template, I mean, to the letter, you see here it does come out. And um, interesting that this didn't work, the all caps. So that's interesting. But it does take the formatting of it's bold. And it does take the formatting of making this a subtitle. Okay. And because I did this as an update, I can now go back and fix this error that I see here. So if we go back to Notion, open this up. Okay, and we're going to wait for that to come over. And while we're waiting, I am going to just really quickly look at my template and make sure I did have it structured just because I'm curious. So it does say, I think maybe it's when it formats, it's not a permanent formatting. It's just, 
it's not like a style. So I would want to create this as a style to make it work. And what's interesting you note is that after I open this, you see the thumbnail is now working properly and I'm, just, I'm seeing the, the way that it looks. But here in the new one, I'm still getting that um, the template instead of the content. All right, so here we go and you see this is the updated one. So, which is great because if you see any problems in your document, I'm constantly like sending something to print and seeing like, oh my goodness, I, I made this mistake. I can just update it right there in the table and it will um, fix the problem. It will create a new copy for me. So now let's actually talk about some, some things that to note that are um, problems for sending things over. So I've got this example. Let's open this up and I'm going to put this side by side with this so that we can see what worked and what didn't. So already I can tell you that tables and images do not um, come across like mo any complex blocks like an embed. It will ignore all those things. Um, but I wanted to see what other blocks would work. So here we see table contents does not work. Um, formatting doesn't work either. So I can't, even though this is an H2 here, it is not an H2 over here. And remember, I did export this using um, the, the markdown and not just regular content. So even with saying use markdown, it doesn't, it just doesn't pick that up. It does take line breaks. Okay. Um, it doesn't take the columns. So here, how about columns? You see that my columns did not, did not take uh, did not even take the content of the columns. I just ignored it completely. Bullet list kind of works. It does a dash instead of a bullet. I, that's acceptable. Task marks does the old fashioned bracket, which is still workable. So I can mark it off. Dividers and um, quotes do not, or callouts do not work. It does take the date. It's interesting because I don't know why it adds this arrow, but it does take the date and it does take at mentions. It does not take code snippets. And as we said, because formatting doesn't work, it will not take the color, but it does take my, um, it doesn't format the, the math equation of liquid, but it does take it over and we do get emojis. So some drawbacks, but it is still much better than what I had before. Um, if I really like needed to have something over, I can do the old fashioned, of course, copy paste. And you'll see that some of the things that I get here work like, again, code snippets don't work, but I do at least get my code. Um, and again, the formatting for the liquid just doesn't work because Google doesn't have that in there. But you can see that, um, shrink this up, you can see that my paging did in, in fact work. So it's not 100% solid, you know, as our API improves, hopefully we will be able to have those abilities, but already this is going to save me tons of time in my workflow for simple letters or simple reports. I hope you found this useful, and until next time, this was Dara um, on UX Diva.